This week, 321 new stalls were installed in the United States and Canada, bringing the total to 51,584. Pilot Flying J added five stations. Tesla added 14 stations. Electrify America did not add one. Uh, that's left over from last week. ChargePoint added 15. EVgo added one. EV Connect added eight. And the Rivian and Net Adventure Network added one. And again, these are stations. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Pilot Flying J. They added five stations, which is a pretty high number. I know when they initially opened uh, stations back in October of last year, they opened um, eight in one day. And I think that's the most they've ever done in a week. But five is a pretty good pace for them. It is Sayre, Oklahoma, Hubbard, Ohio, Marengo, Ohio, Benton, Arkansas, and Texarkana. Each of them four stalls. Next one is Tesla. They had a very good week. They opened 14 stations. You can see there's a 20 in Salt Lake City, and there's another 20 in El Monte, uh, California. Gonna be selling a lot of chicken. All right, the next one is ChargePoint. They had a so-so week. Not bad, not great. <clears throat> 15, nothing really to call out here. Similar type of pattern. Again, I'm keeping my eye out for anything that is Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub related. And there was a press release indicating Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub network has pivoted from using ChargePoint Express Plus hardware as they were doing in their initial rollout to uh, instead now they're gonna be using the Alphatronic Hypercharger uh, made in Wisconsin and sold out of the offices in Charlotte, North Carolina. There was just a press release yesterday. So uh, assumedly on the next round of uh, Mercedes-Benz charging hubs that are going to be opening, and uh, there is news that there's going to be round two coming up pretty soon. Those will be Alphatronic hyperchargers. All right, the next one is EVgo. They opened one in Wesley Chapel, Florida, four stalls. Next one is EV Connect. They opened eight. Nothing really to call out here. Each one of them is two stalls. <clears throat> Likely car dealerships. They don't label them that way. Lots of times to label them with the address or ambiguously, but um, likely these are all car dealerships. Next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. They opened up a new one in Rhode Island. Their claim to fame is opening it up in remote places that are less traveled, but scenic. East Greenwich, Rhode Island, six stalls. And I keep my eye on a collection of other CPOs to see what kind of activity would come out of them on a given week. And BP Pulse is one of those. And they opened three just today um, after not having opened any for a couple of weeks. One in California, one in Washington, one in Indiana. So you can see that they're spreading around in uh, they're not isolated in one area of the country. They seem to be spread around a lot more. Thanks for watching.